Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today I'm giving myself a haircut. Now, why do I have these things over here hiding my hair? Well, cause I didn't shoot an intro and I don't want you guys to see it. So, to see if I've completely ruined my hair or if I've done a fantastic job, keep watching. This is what my hair currently looks like. This is not clean or washed hair. But yeah, just to give you a sense of the length and what we're working with. So we're starting with dry hair because that's important. And I'm parting it on my natural part, which is just slightly off the center. Look at your hair and judge your hair before you start cutting. Please don't just go in without knowing what you're doing and what you want to do. I generally take some of the curl clumps that I really like from the front sections of my hair and separate them from the rest of my hair for now. I am not going to cut these sections and layers because I don't like the look of front layers. And I move my hair to the back so that it doesn't interfere with the hair that I've selected. And for now I'm just going to tie it up in a scrunchie, looping just once. I'm just going to take those sections and with a spray bottle I'm just going to get the hair wet. Then I'm just going to start detangling. I'm using the EXO Curl Bombs comb here. One of you suggested this comb to me. So thank you Ria for the recommendation. I really, really, really like this to detangle my hair with. So I'm just going to take these front sections and I'm just going to put them in braids. I'm not going to cut these sections now. I'll cut them later. So I'm just going to take these braids, I'm going to put them behind my head and tie them up so that they don't get in the way. Then I'm just going to take the rest of the hair, section them down the middle roughly and bring them in front just to give you an idea of what I'm going for. With my layers, what I like to do is, I like them to point upwards. So I like my layers longer in the front and shorter behind. What you don't know about the filming of this video is that my tripod is 5 feet and uh, I'm much taller so I had to bend throughout this video. I'm looking at the footage now. It's hilarious. Anyway, I'm getting my hair wet here, spraying it all down with a spray bottle. I could have jumped into the shower and come to you with wet hair but it was very important for me to take some of my favorite curl clumps from the front and tuck them away and in order to select the curl clumps that I really liked I needed my hair to be dry which is why I started off that way. Now you're just going to detangle. If you feel like you want to jump into the shower and use some conditioner and that's going to help you detangle that's fine as long as you wash the conditioner off because when you're detangling your hair you definitely want some slip it makes things easier but when you're cutting your hair you don't want your scissors to slip through the hair so I would say wash it off so now what I've done is I've taken my hair I've gone upside down because that's important for this haircut since it's called a unicorn cut I'm going to take all of the hair and make sure that it's nicely detangled and I'm going to bring everything to the front of my head just like a unicorn horn now I'm taking a smaller comb because I want the hair completely slicked down and smooth. Then I'm just taking a rubber band and I'm just putting all of my hair through the rubber band. Loop it as many times as long as it's nice and tight. You don't want this being loose. Make sure that the hair that is braided in front is completely out of the way. Now take your little unicorn horn thingy and flatten it out a bit. And then just use another rubber band and put it through the hair. And tie your hair up. Now when you started with your haircut, it would have been a good idea for you to judge how much you wanted to get rid of. That way it makes it easier for you to cut. You'll need to use a hair cutting scissors because you don't want to cause any damage. So cut on top of the rubber band. And then just comb through with a nice fine tooth comb. And now what you're going to do is, you're going to start point cutting. 
now by point cutting I mean you have to cut into the hair so slice into the hair and that way you'll just remove some of the weight from the ends and the ends will look a little nice and feathered giving you a much better more polished finish so now you can take the hair out of the rubber band and I'm sectioning my hair out I'm going to part my hair in a deep U shape I'm going to go way past the crown which means I'm going to go way past the highest point on my head because I want layers at the back I'm going to take out the sections from the bottom and move that out of the way using a clip this time I'm just taking the braids from the front and moving them to the back for now and I'm using my fine tooth comb and I'm combing my hair through again now if you notice the section that I've drawn is quite deep because I don't like the look of a layered haircut with just layers in the front I want the layers to go right across my head so I've sectioned my hair out and I've made a deep U shape and once again I've tied it up with two rubber bands in that unicorn style and then I'm just gonna cut but this time when I cut I'm gonna cut in a slant once again I'm just point cutting to remove some of the weight at the ends it's better for you to start by cutting a little hair and then figuring out if your layers are the right length for you you can always go shorter but you can't go longer if your hair starts drying it's a good idea to get them wet now we're gonna take another u-shaped section across the head but this time we're gonna go a little higher so that's one step higher than the first section that you got not the front section so make sure they're separated in the braids this time I'm clipping them in front because it just seemed easier than clipping them behind remember we want the shortest layers at the back and the longer layers in front if it makes it easier for you use a tail comb and then section your hair out make sure you're going in a U shape but you're going higher than the first layer that you cut in your hair go right across on the other side if you're very very particular perfect this section if you have somebody at home to help you by all means get some help but it's fine you don't have to be super particular with the sectioning a rough u-shaped section is just fine this haircut is very very forgiving so you're not going to mess it up completely as long as you cut little by little if you feel like you haven't cut enough you can always go back in and cut once again but don't cut too much because you don't want too much distance between each layer if you maintain less distance between each layer and have a lot of layers you're going to be able to give yourself that look of volume even if you have thin hair once again I'm tying it up like a unicorn horn in front of my head taking the braids pushing them back doesn't matter if the braids are in front or at the back just see what is more comfortable for you taking all of the hair from behind and clipping it up so that it's completely out of the way the hair in the front is nicely slicked down flatten your hair out so that it makes it easier put in your second rubber band and once again you're going to cut in a slant try to analyze in your head how short you want the second layer to fall at and then based on how many inches you feel comfortable with you're going to cut I would say a difference of let's say an inch and a half per layer makes the hair look really nice and full so that is what I was going for so you'll cut below the rubber band each time you're doing a layer and you're gonna cut in a slant going upwards and then you're just going to point cut now I know I keep calling this a double unicorn but actually I'm going in with another layer which makes this haircut a triple unicorn now what you'll see is I'm doing exactly the same thing but every time I cut a new layer I go higher which means that I leave out some of the hair from my last section and I go more towards the center of my head so in essence the U becomes narrower so I started with a really wide U and I went below my crown and then with each successive section 
I have basically gone towards the center of my hair. So basically the U's became narrower. Since I like to part it very close to the center. So once again, I'm going to take the hair and I'm going to put it in two rubber bands. I'm going to cut in a slant and then I'm going to point cut. I'm not going to do anything else at this stage. Please note that I haven't cut the front sections. I'm going to go wash my hair, style my hair and come back when my hair is completely dry. Hi guys, so I'm back and this is what my hair is currently looking like. Look at all of the volume that I'm getting, but I still have to address the ends right here. So I think I need to scoot up a bit and show you the rest of this haircut. Now my face will get cut off, but such is my length. So we had pinned up these sections right here and we had put it at the back because I didn't want that getting in the way of my haircut because everybody has preferences when it comes to their hair. For me, I love layers, but I need my front sections to be long because if it isn't, then I really start missing my length. So this is pretty much the shape I like, but as you can see, the ends are still looking a bit scraggly. So I'm just gonna take this mirror right here Please ignore this in the frame. So I'm going to take this section and I'm going to compare it to the rest. Hang on, can you guys see? Yeah, you guys can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my scissors and then I'm just going to slant that way. So this needs to be cut right here as you can see. And I'm just going to take that curl clump and just point cut. So this is step two of the haircut. I'm going to look around my hair and find other sections to point cut so that I have the perfect shape when I'm done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep fluffing my hair and then dropping it down to see if any clumps are looking like they don't belong and need to get a little chop. Okay, so let's look at some of the sections of my hair that are a problem for me right now. Firstly, I had bangs or fringe, whatever you want to call it. So quite a bit of my hair in front is this length and obviously this is taking away from the volume that I can get, right? Another thing that is eating up at my volume would be the sections right here. So the hair right here is pretty scanty and not the same as my length so these are some things that really take away from my volume but I guess I'll have to wait for it to grow out but yeah look at all of these layers they look beautiful it's gonna take me a few weeks for me to get my hair back into shape and to get the moisture going obviously the parts that I've cut it's gonna take some time for my hair to spring up it happened the last time as well. This isn't the first time I've tried a modified double unicorn on myself. But look at the layers. <laughs> can we can we see this section right here that refuses to curl? Yeah, <laughs> that just won't curl. 
I'm so happy with my results. Look at that. Wow. Look at all of this volume. It's crazy. I love it. Oh my goodness. All right. I have to wrap this video up, but I low-key can't get over how beautiful my hair is looking. Look at all of this volume. Where did all of this hair come from? I don't know guys, layers. Now listen, if you have really short hair or if you have shoulder length hair, this haircut is not going to work for you. So please don't try it. Another thing that I have to say is you have to have hair cutting scissors, okay? You can't use normal scissors and cut your hair because you'll just cause more damage. So please don't do that. If you're going to cut your hair, get this. It's not very expensive. I'll link it down below. I got it on Amazon. But yeah, that was the video. Look at my hair. Oh my hair. I'm so happy. All right. That was it. That was the video. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Uh, if you want to see more from me, follow me on Instagram because I post a lot there that you won't see here. I'm Curly Girl Michelle there. Thanks so much for watching guys. As always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.